Hello, beautiful internet family. My name is Dan Davis, and I'm the creative director here at danstube.tv, as well as the Fearless Drone Academy, which is the ultimate online drone course for beginners. And in today's video, I have an epic three-way comparison here between Lychee, Drone Link, and Maven. Now these are three third-party applications that unlock a bunch of features for all of the DJI drones out right now. I'm pretty sure it's only the Mavic 3 that they don't support, correct me if I'm wrong, but they support pretty much the majority of the DJI drones on the market right now. I've been testing with Mini 2, the Mini SE, as well as recently started to test with the Air 2S. So that's the recent integration that these three applications have added for us DJI users. And in this video, I'm comparing the three of them to see how well they go with the following functionality while using the DJI Air 2S. Now I realized that I hadn't thoroughly tested the Air 2S integration with these three applications, but I thought that I would do a true comparison. You know, I went out, I tested the three applications individually, tested their following functionality and tried to keep it as fair as I possibly could. They were all at 35 meters and I kept them at the same distance and the same, like I said, the same height, same distance. And I also really tried to make sure that they were the same location when they were tracking me. So I tried to get them following me from behind, tried to get it at 35 meters, and I tried to get the same distance for every single test that I did here. And the reason I really wanted to test this is I wanted to showcase how unique the following functionality is as opposed to the active track mode that you get with the DJI Air 2S by default. Now, I personally feel that the following mode is a lot more versatile and just a lot more reliable and just better. All of the shots that I captured today or the majority of them, the active track mode would have not been able to catch up, would have not been able to track me, and it would have stopped because there was no visual line of sight. And active track is purely software based. It's trying to focus in on whatever it is you've drawn around and it's tracking that object that's moving. This test truly shows the power of the following functionality because there are moments, like a lot of moments, where the drone itself has zero visual line of sight of me. There are trees covering me completely. I'm on my bike riding along a boardwalk and you can't see me at all. The drone has no visual line of sight. So if we were using active track, it would have stopped and it would not have continued following me. But because follow mode tracks the signal from your device, from your phone, it actually means that I can fly wherever I want, no visual line of sight, and the drone can still Still track me. So a very unique perspective here because it allows me to, again, go in a very unique spot where there's no visual line of sight. I can ride along a boardwalk and as I come out the other end, it's going to reveal that I've been cruising along this random path that the drone couldn't see me on. Just gives a very unique perspective that you couldn't get just with the default Air 2S and the DJI Fly application. So like I said, I tested the three different apps here, Lychee, Drone Link, and Maven. I found that for whatever reason, both Lychee and Maven were having issues with the latency or the actual video feed. I found it was dropping out quite a lot. I don't know if that's to do with the fact that my phone storage was nearly full. It could have something to do with just the fact that my phone is an iPhone XS Max. It's not the latest device. It could have many reasons. Maybe the Air 2S isn't fully optimized for these applications. I really don't know what it was that caused this, but I didn't have that experience with Drone Link. I only had it with Lychee and Maven. Hold that information with a grain of salt, hold it lightly, because I didn't have this experience when I was testing the Mini 2 or the Mini S. It could have something to do with the optimization of the Air 2S with these applications. Again, I don't know. I'd love your thoughts in the comments below. But I just thought this would be a cool way just to test out how well the drone, the Air 2S, would go with the following functionality. For the majority of this video, I won't actually be narrating or talking too much. I kind of want to give you a chance to see how the three applications performed. I know there are a lot of people out there that are considering one of these three applications. You know, you may have the Air 2S and you might not be considering any of these, but I think showcasing what the follow mode can do as opposed to active track is maybe going to get a lot of Air 2S users very excited. When I look at the overall functionality of these three applications and the test that I performed, honestly, they were all remarkable. Like I said, nothing dropped out, had no issues with the drone just stopping and not knowing where I was. I had no issues with the drone like moving 
awkwardly or you know worrying me because it was flying around trying to find me or it wasn't like doing unpredictable things basically it was doing what I expected it to do following nice and close by and I could hear it at all times which was reassuring to know that it was close by and again the the movements were smooth and it did exactly what it was supposed to do which is followed me regardless if it had that visual line of sight it just followed me through all of the different paths I put it on and I think it's really cool to see how powerful these applications are it just shows you you know that you can actually create some very unique perspectives with the drone and you can be on a bike tracking yourself in some very unique locations without any visual line of sight for the rest of this video now you're just going to see exactly what the air 2s can do in the following modes we will have text to show you which application was utilizing the following mode i would love your thoughts in the comments below if there's any like abnormal movements or weirdness that you want to clarify which there probably shouldn't be because it was all very smooth and seemed to perform as you would expect it to but i would love to know which one do you prefer here were there any standout moments that you you really enjoyed from the following mode here I would love to know in the comments below, but enjoy the rest of this video. I will chat to you in the next one and peace out. Mm, what's on your mind? And I